right, you maggots, listen up. Uh, I have these these stories and these moments that are locked forever in my brain, and they didn't make any sense back then, and they don't make any sense now. Now, this is a Simpson 260, right? It's the uh, meter we used in tech school. Uh, we I used these in RCA um, and a few other companies I worked in. And uh, I got two of them. I rebuilt it just for a nostalgia thing. I don't like the way the meter dampens. It overshoots the voltage. Then it comes back. It's like it's drunk. I don't like that. I like the other meters I got. But anyway, I'm at this 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 house. And these people invited me for, um, it was like New Year's dinner of some sort. And I knew them when I was growing up. They're friends of my mother. My mother and father were there. They said it would be nice if little Johnny came. But I wasn't little anymore. But I came to visit. And we had dinner there. And um, I'm still sitting at the table. And this guy, uh, their son, he brings out a Simpson 260 with leads. And he sets it on the uh, counter in the kitchen. And he goes, I want to ask you something. I thought he was going to give me the Simpson 260. So I go over there. I go, what's going on? And he goes, uh, what can I use this for? And uh, I immediately switch it to, uh, you know, 110 volts, AC, 110. Uh, on this meter, you have to actually go to AC. And then uh, uh, let's see what voltage you'd use. 250 volts. And I take the leads, which would be over in here, uh, and I stick them in the outlet in the kitchen. And I show him, I said, this outlet's hot. He just stares at me like I'm freaking crazy. And I'm thinking, he asked me what he could use the meter for, and I'm going to give him a bunch of things he could use it for. But he's still looking at me like I'm crazy. So the next thing I did was, uh, you know, I went back to probably D.C., uh, uh, ohm meter, ohm, ohms, R times 1, put the leads together, zeroed it out, put the leads together, zeroed it out, and I showed them using like a spoon or a fork. And I said, yeah, you can check, you can check to see if a wire is open or closed using ohms. And that's what R is. It's R times 1, reading times 1. And then I showed them the scale, how to read it, what zero is a short, uh, and then resistance. I explained all that. He's still staring at me like I'm freaking crazy. So then uh, I went into uh, putting it to uh, probably 10 volts and uh, DC. And I said, you got any batteries? And he brought some batteries out. And I put the lead across it. I said, yeah, you can measure batteries to see if there's anything left in them. And I said, it's best to use a load. Uh, actually measure across the the um, the battery when it's in the circuit operating get a better idea. And he's still staring at me crazy. When I get all done, he goes, no, no, you don't understand. I want to know what I can use it for. And I'm like, ah. <laughs> and he couldn't explain himself. That, that's, that's the way it ended. So uh, I went back and I'm eating. And uh, on the way home, my mother says, you know, when he brought that meter out, that meter is from, from when he went to school to be an engineer. And I had totally forgot that he went to be an engineer. Uh, the guy ended up uh, cleaning seafood. Him and his wife cleaned seafood in their, in their kitchen for local restaurants. That's what he ended up doing. But he went to engineering school. And he was really smart. But I think at some point, uh, mental breakdown of some sort. And he also had tools in the cellar. And he had them hanging up. And... If you touched one of those tools, he would get out a rag and, and wipe that tool down with lightly oil it. And my father used to bring that up a lot. That, yeah, he's got all these tools. He don't know how to use them. Absolutely true. And the meter was the same thing. I He sprung that on me. See, I, when he come out with the meter, I'm thinking he's going to give me the meter. And uh, he someone gave it to him. Now he's going to give it to me. No. Well, what can I use it for? And then I gave him three examples. And I still, it, it still wasn't enough for him uh, because uh, he never had a use for a meter up until that point, and he never was going to. And it's just so funny, like I'm coming back with my parents in the car, 
uh, Mimosa says, you know, he's not right. And I go, and, and then she reminded me he went to be an engineer. And I'm like, oh, my God. You know, and that was the meter that they gave him in the school. See, when you go to school, they make you buy a meter. And, and he probably was cleaning out the closet. He found the meter and uh, didn't know what he would ever use it for. Instead of finding somebody and giving it to them, well, what can I use it for? And I showed the battery, the AC line. I explained the difference between a short and an open, if you should ever have to troubleshoot the car. And the whole time he's looking at me, it, it's going in one ear and out the other. Not realizing this guy had it. He went to a complete engineering course for electronics or electricity in those days. Uh, yeah. And he, he you know, did, he, he didn't understand the difference between an open and a short. It didn't sink in. But he was able to get really good marks. And then when he come out, uh, he waited too long to get a job somewhere, and I guess they didn't hire him more. When they were interviewing him, he just, he looked like a block of cement. He just, I don't know. But I have that in my head. You know, I'm sitting there, oh, God, this guy's going to give me a meter. And it's embarrassing. People would give me stuff, and I, I was never, I never really liked taking stuff from people. Because if I wanted something, I would go buy it. And I was taught by somebody else, say thank you, take the item and trade it or sell it. And if they ask you what happened, you'll say to the person, oh, I traded that for something else. Tell them the honest truth, even though if you sold it and got money, just say, I traded it for something else for someone uh, to someone. That's what you do. When someone offers you something that's good, but you have no use for it, take it and then use it to trade or sell it. And that's what you do with it. Because when they're offering you a meter or something, they owe you. They owe you, they owe you for fixing something. Now, a lot of times, the one guy, uh, every time I fixed the stereo or whatever for him, he, he worked for a vacuum company, and he was in management. So every time uh, I would fix something for him, he'd give me a vacuum cleaner. And then my mother would give it away to one of her friends. And one of her friends would call me up like late at night saying it needed to be repaired. Think about that for a while. If you were in my shoes, uh, you fix something. The person gave you a vacuum that you had no use for. Your mother took it, gave it to one of her friends. Now, they're calling you up late at night because that's the way they work. They know they get you just before bedtime. And they now want you to fix the vacuum that your mother gave to them for free. I think that's it. All right, that's really it.